Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. This is the Sony Xperia 5. It's the compact version, the smaller version of Sony's Xperia 1. So uh, pretty much the same specs in every other way. Here's the box. Uh, it's got Xperia 5 on it, Xperia 5. Sony, some iMaze over here, Xperia 5. More Xperia 5, here's some information that might be useful. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, Sony's for a long time made really nice compact phones and this one is no exception. This is kind of exciting because you don't often see compact high quality flagship phones these days. I mean the Pixel 4 is one of the few. It's a pretty small, the, the LG G8. So as you can see this box is a pretty wall on there. Here's the box. Here is the phone. 21 to 9 aspect ratio, so pretty long and skinny. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my Xperia 1 here with me, but let's have a look at this in a minute. It is a smaller display this year, so we're, we're looking at a 6.1 inch display instead of a 6.5 inch display, which is actually quite a bit of a difference if you think about it. Anyway, so there's some instructions here. Let's get these out. Uh, we got safety guidelines, important information, blah, blah, blah. Who cares about that? We got a startup guide, Xperia 5. We've got important information in Spanish and in English, as if we needed more than that, right? Let's have a look at this, though. This could be interesting. So we've got some diagrams. I see. This is actually like a lot. Check it out. Xperia 5, this is how you put the SIM or the micro SD card in. Uh, it tells you everything here, you know, power button, uh, all that good stuff. Here's how to change the volume. Interesting that they did this, showed you this layout with uh, landscape. Anyway, that's it. There's a bunch of fine print in the back. That's the instructions. Let's have a look at what else is in the box. There's a divider here and of course a charger. This is a USB type C PD charger as you can see right here. It says 18 watt so that's kind of nice that we don't have to look at all the fine print to get the details. Same charger as the Xperia 1. Then we have a USB type C to type C cable here I presume. Uh, yeah C on this end. C on this end, so that's for the charger. Then we have a type C uh, headphone adapter, so 3.5 millimeter to type C, because this does not have a headphone jack. It's nice that they put one in there. And then finally we have earbuds. And this is basically exactly the same accessories that came with the Xperia 1. This these earbuds are 3.5 millimeters, so you can uh, use them with the adapter and you can use them on other devices, which is a really nice little uh, interesting way to do it. So that's it, folks, in terms of the box and the phone now. Let's have a look at it together. So there we are. Uh, let me pull it out of its a little baggie here. You can actually see there's some instructions on how to put the SIM card in and stuff. And let me actually peel the IMA sticker that's in the back here because we want to take care of that. There's actually two stickers here. It's one and then there is another one right here. That's the one we want to remove. And I think we're good now. Ta-da! Look at how shiny it is. You know, I have the black Xperia one and this is pretty much the same deal. Very, very shiny, very hard to focus on, very reflective. You notice immediately that compared to the Xperia one, the camera pod is on the left side, not centered in the middle like the, uh, the Xperia one was. So uh, there's also a screen protector. I'm going to remove it. Are you ready? Oh, it's not making any sound. So that's another thing. Uh, and then, yeah. So 6.1 inch instead of 6.5, 1080p instead of uh, Quad HD, that's obviously a big difference. Uh, very small top and bottom bezels, 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Let me turn that on really quickly uh, and then we'll go from there. It vibrated. So this is a really nice panel. It's, it's got HDR10 and a bunch of other stuff. So yeah, it's, as you can see, this is basically the, the extent of the bottom and top chins here. While it's booting, let me show you the back again. So you get the same triple camera setup. I like that they have the NFC logo on here. Three 12 megapixel cameras. 
uh, with a flash and some sensors. We've got a f of 1.6 main camera for uh, normal shots with OIS 1.4 microns. And then we have a ultra wide that's f over 2.4, 12 megapixels with one micron pixels. Then we have a f over 2.4 telephoto and that's a two times optical zoom telephoto and it has one micron pixels as well so it's the same exact camera setup as we saw in the xperia one the big difference is the size of the battery and the size of the display um, note that the telephoto and the main camera have ois which is a big exciting thing that every phone should have so you know on paper those specs for this phone are pretty awesome in terms of imaging and the xperia one did deliver uh, if you like the aspect ratio, it's a pretty great phone in terms of feel and hand. And this is just a smaller, more delightful version of that experience. Here's the welcome screen. You can see this is a really high quality OLED panel. Unlike many phones with OLED displays, this does not have an in-display fingerprint sensor. Uh, instead, they went for a dedicated uh, side fingerprint sensor. And it's separate from the power lock key, which just takes a little bit of getting used to because a lot of phones have it as a power lock key as well. I like the Honor phones um, and some of the past Xperia phones. There's a volume rocker right above that, as you can see. So uh, that's pretty much the right side of the phone. Um, oh, I forgot. There's also a dedicated camera shutter key, which also exists on the Xperia one. Keep forgetting Sony keeps doing that, which is pretty awesome. On the left-hand side, you have the SIM slot, which is, don't need any tools for that. You just stick your fingernail under here and you can open this up and get everything in and out of here. Very cool. Uh, on the bottom, you have a USB type C port, uh, some sort of speaker grill, and we have a primer microphone. On top, we have a secondary microphone, as you can see, and that's pretty much it. So that's basically the layout of this, of this phone. Very simple, very straightforward, very effective. So in terms of specs, this hasn't really changed too much from the Xperia 1. We've got a Snapdragon 855, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, micro SD expansion, as you saw earlier. That hasn't really changed too much. Uh, and then we have... Uh, of course, a smaller battery, right? Uh, the battery is 3,140 milliamp hours. And you're gonna say, well, it's pretty small, but here's the kicker. The Xperia 1 had a 3,300 milliamp hour battery and a much larger chassis. So you're actually not getting much worse of a deal. You get a smaller display that has less resolution to drive. And I think battery life, this might actually be better than the Xperia 1 because the Xperia 1 should really have had something like a 3,800 milliamp hour battery, but 3,300 really wasn't good enough. So this is cool because we now have this phone with a pretty decent sized battery and a very compact chassis, which, you know, is, is pretty awesome. Um, technically, the Xperia 1 battery is 3330 milliamp hour battery, but, you know, who's counting? So we have also the same 8 megapixel front facing camera. Earpieces here. This makes a stereo pair with the bottom speaker. You know, pretty much what you expect from a modern flagship. The thing that's great about this phone, though, it is a lot more affordable than the Xperia 1 was. The Xperia 1 was $949. This phone's $799. So at $799, you know, it's much easier to recommend this phone than the Xperia 1. So that's it, folks. This is Sony's new Xperia 5. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, click the little notification icon, interact with me in the comments below. And don't forget that this entire channel exists as a supplement to the Mobile Tech Podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com. We're on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Overcast, Spotify, pretty much everywhere. Please subscribe to the podcast as well. And stay tuned for more videos coming up real soon. Cheers, everybody.